main menu, I'll start a Uh, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to play some Elite Dangerous. Me and my friend, we haven't played for a while. We were really into it for a long time. He's struggling trying to figure it out on his own. Just winging it. I'm going to go back through the tutorial. And uh, so I don't die immediately. Or fly into a star. So anyways... Early narration over. Uh. I forgot there's like... Like scan shit. Kama Denu. Where you're at. Which cockpit mode? Combat mode activated. Whoop. I got a point defense, data link scanner. Oh, I think I did that. Oh, no, I did that correctly. <laughs> I almost fucking flew right by it on my first trip. I was like, why does it press Y to disengage? I'm like, oh, I'm in fucking Super Cruise. <laughs> oh, damn. They do a full array. They, they, did you look at the tutorial list? They do pilot, basic flight, docking and travel, combat, mining, advanced combat, surface recon vehicles, and ship launch fighters. Oh, I think I'm just whoops. gonna do. I just fucking launched a heatsink. Maybe up to mining. I forgot. Yeah, that's that okay. Heat sink's they, cool. They, you uh, got. Yeah, don't worry. They're uh, they they actually have a cooldown. It's not like you. Oh wait a second. No. You there you so spend enable. them. Yeah, I've got two. I think. Yeah. Because I've got an EMC. Don't know what that is. I got a chaff. And then I've got like a point defense, but I don't know if I have to activate those or point defense is just a thing. I've got a data link scanner. You can go into your uh, EMC thing and I'll tell you what's going on. With Secondary C, items. primary C. I'm just trying to remember how I had this all set up. Um, let me just. I think I have to get within. Oh, I think I did drop out a little bit too soon. I'm still a minute away from this place. Don't you have to get... How, how close do you have to get before you can auto-dock? Six or seven kilometers. Oh, apparently I'm well with... Apparently I'm within... Uh, I'm auto-docking. I'm auto -docking. <laughs> No fires on an entered. An ally like you is always welcome here. An ally like you is always welcome here. Damn, there's auto launchers. Auto launchers? What do you mean? Like I'll like leave the. Uh... Yeah. That's new. Like, I'm leaving the station. The auto launcher is just guiding me out. I'm chilling. What? I wonder if that takes up a slot. Like the auto docker does. Oh, you know, I'm you have to, like... certain it does. 
<laughs> I think I'll just take off by myself. I am pretty used to doing it by myself. Yeah, leaving isn't hard. There was always the docking that was annoying. Yeah. Remarkable, isn't it? For so long, humanity gazed up at the stars in wonder. We're not distracted by one of Earth's many you took your passengers. You told me after we left that you wanted shit, bitch. It sucks that we're not going to be a part of that generation. Huh. The space travel generation. I mean, by the time I'm like 80 years old, I'm sure I'll be able to hop on a thing and go up to the moon or Mars or wherever the fuck. Yeah, that. But I'm talking about like... Pulling, like Starship. Out a, pulling out of a damn station like this and seeing a, a, a planet that we've never heard of before. <clears throat> and there's entire thousands of people living outside of this colony. Oh yeah, give me the money. I don't need the influence. Good. Now increase your throttle to accelerate forwards. You see my yeah, baby. Uh, Before, push the blinder a hollow cobra. The ship is wanted in another jurisdiction. Transfer to this location available at a premium. Looks like you've got the hang of individual. Got a five thousand four hundred global bounty. Can't you pay that off? Your next task is to guide your ship through yes. a series of checkpoints. Head towards the course, following the target indicator. This one's got the multi cannons and the beam lasers, heat sink, shield booster, shield generator. Oh, this one's got a bunch of cargo racks. Okay. This is my python. Accelerate through the first checkpoint when you're ready to start. Cargo rack. Oh, they give you limited control of your ship. Like, there's things that I still. That, like my muscle memory is trying to take over and it's not allowing me to do it so maintain a comfortable speed while you familiarize yourself with the controls I have two defense turrets together is the most efficient way of turning Ooh, wow Cargo rack 256, cargo rack 64, cargo rack 64, cargo rack Cabin, a bunch of cargo stuff. I have another first class passenger cabin. I could have placed him on a spoof. What do we have in. S what, what, what stored modules do I have? It's crazy this is number one on the list of top ten games that have in-game uh, sudden reveal content that was discovered by players. I'll go around. Got a bunch of business passenger classes. First class passenger guns. First class. 
could have, I just could just put a bunch of passengers to. Frame shift driving this bitch. Power draw, boot time, emergency life support. Only seven minutes and thirty seconds. One eight six one three ten. You're approaching a particularly sharp turn, so I advise slowing down to prevent any mishap. I don't really know why I need life support. If I get stuck somewhere, I don't know how like twenty five minutes of time is gonna save anything. Weapon capacity and we'll whip a recharge. Your ship's boost function greatly increases your speed, but use it wisely. That's the last checkpoint. The sidewinder is an agile ah. and you handled it well. Did I? Did you what? It said you handled it well, and I'm like, did I? I crashed into a couple things. <laughs> oh, I have an empty internal compartment. Auto field maintenance unit allows in flight repair of internal ship modules and can restore broken module. Okay, here we go. A ship computer that provides additional super cruise guidance? That's pretty cool. I wonder what that actually does. It probably allows you to drop from super cruise on automatically. You can scan the beacon now. I'm kind of interested in this um, auto field maintenance unit. Allows in flight repair of internal ship modules and can restore broken modules. It's a level one, like... You can employ the ship's frame shift drive to increase your speed by a few orders of magnitude. First, ensure that the ship is correctly secured. Your landing gear, cargo scoop, and hard points must all be retracted. Like a repair capacity. When you're ready, throttle up and engage super cruise. Or like, if you're flying around and, like, you know, you fucking break down somewhere. Fuel scoop, field generator, first class passenger cabin, cargo rack, cargo rack, cargo rack. Oh wow! So I put a, f I put a f level five shield generator, and then I replace instead of having a level six generator, I just put a bunch of cargo racks. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I just downgraded the uh, shield generator. <laughs> Available 
I don't want one of these auto field maintenance units. In the top left of your HUD is the comms panel, which displays pilot communications and contacts across several channels. The top right, as your info panel, entries here mostly relate to your ship's status, computer messages, and events happening around you. And an extra vehicle slots for your planetary hangar vehicles. I guess I could get rid of one of these, like, cheap cargo racks that only give me eight. Considering I already have, like, 200. I can have 232. I could get rid of, rid of one of these level three cargo racks that's only giving me eight. I guess I could replace it with, a uh, an auto field maintenance unit. Like, repair my shit. I think... I, I don't think maybe I don't need that right now because I, I assume what that's for is an auto field maintenance unit. So if you're flying around and you like fucking break something, you can use that to repair yourself. But it uses like a repair drone, I think. Okay. This is about repairing hull damage. But the field maintenance unit is about repairing modules. Oh. I think for now, I'm just gonna buy this super cruise assist? Really? Ship computer utility that provides additional super cruise guidance to a collected destination. Only 9,000 credits. Because I have an empty level 1 slot. And what else am I going to put in a level 1 slot? Dignity. Dignity? Yeah. Well, as soon as you figure out what that is, let me know and I'll go buy some. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. I have no idea what it is or how to use it. But I have one. I have a heat scene locker, a chaff launcher, I have electromagnetic countermeasures, and a point defense turret. I have three beam lasers and a multi cannon that's gimbaled. Oh, one of my beam laser is a turret, and the two are gimbaled. What? Why did I do that? You'll notice that your weapons are now listed on your HUD. Fire groups allow you to manage your hard points sufficiently. Let's begin the combat evaluation. Destroy several of the canisters. Oh, it supports multi-crew. Okay. That's probably why I did it. Place. I think there's two. I recommend targeting your opponent during combat. Mercenaries Fortress. Notice how your reticules move towards your target. 
Heisenberg. Aunt Zelma's party van. Are these ships? AXT Voyager. Guess I'll go to the Shajin Market, right? Anyone here that wants to go to the Sajin market? Uh, oh, one million light years away. I'm sorry, one million nine hundred four thousand light years away. Plus, well, it's only 21,126.69 light years away. $30. Wait, what? Transport rich tourists to Mkura Ring in the Suratec system. I think I might have to do this while I'm waiting for you. This is 11.96 light years away. And this man is going to pay me 1.7 million credits. To take him eleven light years. Okay. The city waiting on me? For what? No, I said I'm not. I think I'm gonna go do this job real quick. Oh, okay. Is are there any missions to go to Oh, so sorry, tech. Wherever the fuck that guy wants to go. I guess that's a no. Uh. Ah, there it is. Destination on that, please. Consider me impressed. Your final time oh, right. Remote workshop. Your target will not react until it registers. Workshop grants the ability to craft any blueprints you currently have pinned without the requirements of an engineer's facility. Please be aware of certain limitations. Using this workshop to craft blueprints means you will not gain reputation with the associated engineer. You cannot buy or change any experimental effects that may be applied. I can make a 5D power plant. Huh. Got eleven chaff. A bunch of bolts from my multi cam. My point of fence turret has ten thousand and twelve. I have three heat sinks. Okay. Let's launch, baby. I'm gonna try out this new Super Cruise computer I bought. Whatever the fuck that means. Space jump to a neighboring star system. On this occasion, 
monitor on the bottom right of the dashboard is active. This means a large object is in close proximity, preventing you from engaging... I've been getting the controls back again. Who needs tutorials? Just learn by doing. Remember, you can oh. boost to temporarily increase your ship's speed. Well, the time it took you to, uh, figure it out. Uh, I was able to do some work in Minecraft, unload, uh, update the game, load into the game, do the tutorial, for you to learn by doing. Yeah, but I also made like $300,000 while I was doing that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Semantics, okay? Put Details. everything into weapons. I feel like my frame shift drive. What was the last time you put any work into Minecraft, huh? Yesterday. <laughs> what was the last time you put any work into the clan on Conan? Uh, never. I just built things. I always remember to pull up. Don't want to fly into the star. You know how many times I was playing this game late at night and almost fucking flew into shit. Oh yeah, we doze off and shit. And you're you're like, oh, yeah. and you just hear the beeping, like, ring, 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 ring. Like, oh fuck, <laughs> I'm flying into yeah. a sun. Yeah, nothing's worse than stalling out next to a star. Oh my god. Super Cruise Assistive. I think I'm just gonna fucking fly to the place I want to go. If you'll exit the external panel. I gotta turn on that Super Cruise Assist computer. And like when I was in the system, I picked my destination and like on the right, like you know, you go to the right. And like when you click on it, like there's like the, there's like the lock destination. And then right to the right of that, it says activating Super Cruise Assist. And I clicked on that. And it was like line up a target, and I did. And now on like the front of my screen, like you know where it normally says like auto docking engage, it's just super cruise assist active. Yeah. And now I'm just going. What the data link scanner is used for? Throttle up and aim towards your target. The compass to the left of the sensor display will help you orient yourself. Good. Your ship is now bound for Quello Station. Let's take a moment to review the interface panels either side of your chair. They pretty much made the game automatic. Oh, are you looking into that Super Cruise Assist thing? Mm -hmm. It's making me use it. I feel like they gave all of the ships like an extra slot, so you can just buy it and put it on all of them. Because I didn't have an extra slot on this ship, but now I just kind of do. Are you do. sure about that? Uh, it's an extra are level HIV one slot. HIV positive? I mean, yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was HIC positive. I don't know if that's a thing or not. But I don't want to like, once I'm done with this mission, that's going to give me a bunch of money. <laughs> I, I'm going to go back to my ships and I'm going to like switch to one and see if that one just has a random level one free slot. And if it does, I'm just going to buy this for all of my ships so I don't forget and switch to one one day and I don't have a fucking auto I'm fairly lander. certain my Python didn't have a free slot. No, I mean, like, now it will. Yeah, I know. I'm going to check that. 
That's what I'm saying. Like, I had a Type 9. I have a level 1 cargo dock. Like, I have a level 1, like, cargo thing in level 1 because I had nothing to put there. So I just put a cargo thing there. You're telling me I wouldn't have just done two of those? Like, why do I have a free slot? Was my, I was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> The good thing I'm playing Elite Dangerous, so you can hang out on my lap, <laughs> so I don't have to put my controller down. Uh, back in the day, dude, I used to play this game one-handed most of the time. Oh, I remember. I forgot how far. I wonder this. I forgot the um this Maracuja ring. It's super far away. That's like I'm gonna get like two million dollars for this. Usually, how they get you? Well, it's, it's not, not like su it's not super far away, but like it was one jump away. But then it was like ninety thousand long seconds away. That's like five minutes of real time. But I have super cruise assist. <laughs> I don't have to keep adjusting. I usually never did. I usually, like, I had it set up to where, like, I knew once it got to a certain amount of time, I just hit a button, it would drop my power down to a certain level, and then it would just, it would just coast. Like, I never really had to worry about fucking with my speed. Hmm. It seems like they automated that now. You want to know some shit? So, like, we were going to pick up some medicine for the lady today. And we're at, like, a little Walmart neighborhood market. You know, the small ones. Yeah. And, uh... It's a corner store. Oh, it's like a little... It's like a little grocery store. Yeah, it's like a CVS. And more like a Bilo or, like, a Kroger, what have you. Kroger's are big, though. Um... Not the one I worked at. It was about the size of a bilo. A Piggly uh, Wiggly, I man. I don't know what you know a, what I'm talking about? I don't know what a Piggly... We don't have Piggly Wigglies and we don't have Bilos. We have Walmart, we have CVS, we have Walgreens, we have... Like, little corner stores. You don't have just a grocery store. We have a Kroger's, but Kroger's are big. It's not quite as big as Walmart, though, right? Walmart... Uh, no. Like, there's, like, CVS, okay. and then there's, like, Kroger, and there's, like, Walmart. It's, like, small, medium, large. Oh, we have, like, Bilos and Food Lions and Piggly Wigglies and... <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, we have regular grocery stores. Uh, anyways... We were pulling in the neighborhood market to pick up some medication for the lady... And like, we pull up and we're like, oh, they're, uh, they're closed for the next 15 minutes. So we're just like, alright, we're just gonna chill here. You know? And like, uh, you know, they're like eating their lunch in there or whatever. And, uh, we're just chilling, waiting for a few minutes. We have like five minutes left. And she comes to the window and she's like, hey, can you, do you mind pulling away? Uh, we don't want people, like, waiting here because it, it, it'll, it'll back up cars. And I'm just thinking, I'm like, why are you worried about cars backing up if you're not servicing anybody? Like, people can go around, and if they're not, like, if they're not getting medicine, they don't need to be pulling through this driveway. So, like, what the fuck, you dumb bitch? It's like, are you just, just not like us waiting here? It's like, just us sitting here waiting for you to finish your last five minutes of your lunch bothering you? Hmm. Maybe. Like a weird request. Yeah. I will speak no more. I have spoken. 
Oh, paradoxes. Okay, I finished the tutorial. I'm a minute away from the Marakura ring. Marakura am I? I realize I don't have to be in open play to travel to you. I just don't um, like other players. They're dicks. Like, there's pirates every no, fucking where in this game. You can go single player, travel somewhere, and then go to open play. I know. That's what I was just saying. I was like, damn, I just realized I don't have to be in open play to travel to you. But what are we going to do? Do you want to, like... I was just, just planning on like getting shit. near each other. Okay. Sweetie, kitty, kitty, like, kitty. Like, like I, like I'm, like I'm obviously like in the home system of the chick that I'm pledged to. Like I have no idea where you're at or like how close or how far. I usually hang out in Seoul most of the time. I consider it like my duty to protect that system. I mean, why? We're not from there. I'm from Seoul. Hey, no. Yeah. Check my bio. How do you do that? <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah. You can write your bio. You're in the EQ Pegasi. You're yeah. 160 light years away. That's like 16 jumps. Can you gain is is Soul in the Federation? Yeah. Don't you need you a have to Don't like... you need a permit to go to Soul? Yep. Do I have that permit? If you're a certain level within the Federation, you are. Where is system locations, reputations, finances? Here we go. Oh, I have the solar system permit, the horror system permit, the beta horror permit, the summerland system permit, the faces system yeah, permit. Yeah, soul's just a jump or two away from me. The Arcadia system permit, the PLX 695 system permit, the Exeter system permit, the Ross 128 system permit, and the Vegas system permit. Whatever any of that shit means. Even a few permits I don't have. My ship insurance is 95% and the rebuy cost is 1.2 million credits. Ooh, that's a lot of jumps. Oh, wow. Unless I was doing like a... Uh... No. Uh, oh, wow. It drops me out of Super Cruise and everything. Oh, that's right. I think you need to be like within 7.5 kilometers of the thing to dock or something. I think that's a thing.
Oh, one thing I need to do. I need to turn off vibrations. You Even turn the jet phone boost. You could always defect and come to Seoul and join the Federation. I don't think I have to defect because... Uh... My reputation with the Federation is friendly. I'm 75% friendly with the Federation. I'm a post commander, whatever the fuck that means. What? Uh, I do know one thing, I'm a little sleepy, so I'm gonna grab my uh, energy drink. I wish you didn't work tomorrow. I don't work tomorrow. You don't work tomorrow? Fucking A, dude. You should grab an energy drink. I have Coca-Cola and Dr. Pepper. Dude, I better get a piece of this before it's fucking gone. There's only one piece left. I bought the damn thing. I only had a bite off my girlfriend's piece. Fucking cheesecake. Go passenger lounge. Give me that Monet. Transport. Oh, this guy's name is Napoleon Molina. 1.7 million credits. Alright, let's see what this energy drink called Star Blast tastes like. Under. Commander, Chapter House of Inquisition has a secondary contract available for you. Please check the mission board at Cooper Hub. Is this a chain or ch I, I I don't remember are chain quests a thing? Kind of. I remember them being kind of a thing. Dusty. Does anyone want to go to the Cooper Hub and come to Hasmama? <laughs> this guy wants to go to come to Hasmama. I think I remember why I only have like one first class cabin. <laughs> yeah. Because nobody ever wants to go to the bitch. same place. Yeah. They also bitch. A bunch of people want to go to fucking Suratech. I don't want to go to Suratech. I'm in Suratech. I don't want to donate shit. Else doing any business? Uh, it was good. So I'll just leave.
It tastes like how you would think something that has a red, white, and blue outer can look would taste. Like regret. It's not terrible, but it's better than the black cherry vanilla. Do not use this product if you're pregnant or nursing. Do not consume this product if you're taking any prescription <laughs> drug or have any <laughs> product to contain and should not be used with any other caffeine-containing products. This product is intended for use by healthy containing or healthy individuals only. The consumer assumes all liability. If this product is used in a manner not consistent with label guidelines. Talk about some legalese. It's it's not even like fine print either. I think the ingredients are finer print than this. And like, why can't they use like cherry flavor, blueberry flavoring, da 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 da, when they go natural and artificial flavorings? And the fucked up thing is, is that most blueberry and raspberry flavorings is made with the fucking glands of a beaver. The anal secretion glands of a beaver. Sure, we synthesize our own, but it's just cloning of the same shit. This still originally came out of some beaver's asshole. That's like a lot of coffee beans that just poop. Only the most expensive coffee beans in the world are poop. Yep. Yeah, I wouldn't pay for it. I don't have coffee. Sucks too. I got 64 million right now. Nice. I think I spent all my money. Buying and then upgrading my crazy ship. <laughs> I, I think still my, don't have as much money as I want. My ship, I think, was like two hundred and something million credits. Mm -hmm. I was like, ah, uh, so that's what I was. And then I had to, and then all of my upgrades were like fifty million. Mm -hmm. I used to have a lot of money. I think 20 million like is my insurance cost for that ship. I think that's why I have like I got back up to 20 million so I'd have it in case my ship blew up. And then I was like then I bought Oh shit. Was, huh. What up? The, I went to a mission and the first mission on the list is disable the mega ship turrets for 1 million. <laughs> Don't know what that is or what that means. Sounds fun. What's the mega ship? And how do you disable its turrets? Okay, and disable turret power grid, collector reward. Doesn't really say. It's a master recommended fighter mission, right? A master recommended fighter mission? 
Yeah. Yeah, as you've recommended rank, I recommend you be a master fighter. Psst. Chill the fuck out of my curtains, cat. I'll kill you. Three niner. Were you talking from a walkie talkie? No, those just a please proceeding pad. Three niner. I'm just like, why wouldn't no. you just say no. nine? Well in the military that's how you do it. Because for some reason I don't know why nine's the only number that you put niner. What the heck is the CQ rank? Close quarters combat rank? There's close, qu close quarters in... Well, no. Wouldn't that be combat rank? Uh, there's four ranks under... Um, like, under me. Novice combat. I'm a tycoon trader. And surveyor explorer. And then I'm close to CQC. But I didn't know CQC... How Close combat, you can't. There's no like dog fights. No, that would be combat. Dog fight is combat. There's an extra optional rank called CQC rank. There's combat rank, which is fighting in your ship. CQC rank is like person fighting. No, I'm telling you, it's what, it, what it's going to lead down to. It's going to have something to do with. Uh, your skill as a as a close quarters uh, fighter pilot. Well, no, because they've already announced that we're gonna be able to like walk around on our own two legs at some point. Well, yeah. So I assume that's what they're talking about. Wrap this guy off. For another four hundred thousand. Ah. Do they want to go? No, Way too far away. Bar and Chickabara.
I think if I remember correctly, I was like chasing this mythical piece of uh, uh, gear to buy, and then I realized that they didn't make it. They didn't make gear go hot that high. Oh, really? Mm hmm. All right. What? That was weird. This guy really sounds like, uh... God damn it. Ready to engage. What's his name? Fucking... Alan Rickman. Sounds like Alan Rickman when he was portraying a robot from, um... Uh, Hitchhiker's Guide. It's very specific. That's, I'm just saying what he sounds like. Like it's got just smells like rotten fish milk. Is there a such thing? Just saying what it smells like. Shaw, what are you doing? I swear if y'all knock that ace, hey, 
if y'all knock that curtain down, I swear I'm gonna be the only person in this world that's whooped a cat's ass with a curtain rod. And not attempted to kill him in the process. So I'm pretty sure if anybody else has gone that far, they're trying to kill the cat. Meh. Yeah. Hello, son. Thank you for refueling my fuel tanks. Warning, temperature critical. <sighs> it's a change to analysis here. mode. Combat mode activated, analysis mode activated. Different modes now? Where the fuck am I going? Yeah, sure, let's go to Mercury. Hmm. Have you done a tour of Sol yet? I've never been to, I haven't gone to Seoul. I got oh, the permit, but I had no here. reason to go there. Um, cause I Did was, you know, hmm. oh, sorry, keep going. Um, I was going to say, I, like it's, it, it's Federation. I was trying to increase my empire ranks. I wasn't, I had no reason to go to the Federation. Um, yeah. I guess because you're such a low rank. I guess I'm gonna have to go to Seoul. That way we're like near each other. What do you mean I'm such a low rank? Well, you have. You and I are pretty. I have pretty my even ship. with. You don't. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm such a low rank. You're lower this rank than I, me. I don't have. No, I'm. I have. I have the rank I need to get the ship that I want. I just don't have the money. My ah. ship's more expensive than your ship. How much was your ship? I don't know. I gotta go fucking look at some registrar to so see how much a Corvette a, costs. What if they just go to a shipyard and just try to buy it? Mm -hmm. I think there's one here on Mercury. If not, I know there's some. Uh, we have some high tech stuff here because, like, Seoul is like one of the most protected and advanced technology. Uh, solar systems we have I mean it is the cradle of humanity what I want to have I want to see happen in Elite Dangerous is I want us to come across some shit to find out that humans are older than earth than earth humans you know what I mean well I mean we have that with that'd be that's, cool as that's, shit that's the guardian race we're not the guardians no I'm saying like disappeared did they disappear or did they become us? I think they were completely different. Isn't there a way that you can see like the bubbles of like all the different stuff? Like the territories and stuff, isn't that a thing? I don't remember. Oh yeah, uh, power play. Ah, here we go. Oh, there's Soul. Where the fuck over there? Yeah, I'm pretty far away from you. Wow. I just smelt my grandfather's cigars. You have to hold X to go up and down. You hit X and it changes your reticle. Y goes to where you are.
You ever had that with a family member that's passed? You suddenly smell something that's theirs. Like, whatever it is. Like, I remember the smell of my grandfather's cigars, and I really remember the smell of cherry tobacco. It's sold now. See how far away it was. I keep smelling it. Oh, I don't think I have any star systems for Soul. It's not showing me any stars. I, I think it's only showing me the things that I've like been to. This shit's tripping me out, dude. This might go like light a candle. It was just a whiff. A light a candle. And tell your grandfather's ghost to go away. Oh man, he's probably be the one guardian I'd want him to stick want to stick around. Hell, I'd probably let him take control for a little bit, man. He had a really fucking successful life. Four kids, thirty years in the military. Would you two knock it the fuck off or I dunk you? I so need to figure out which of my ships has like longest jump distance and the most and stuff. Might be my cutter actually. Huh. Well, there goes that theory. Because, hmm. like, we have, um, we have some of his old cigar boxes that we use for, you know, like, storage. And I used to keep them underneath the table over here where I hang out, and they're not here anymore. So. Hmm. I thought that's what I was smelling. Shit's, that shit tripped me out. I mean, it's gone now, but I mean, it was just like, it wasn't as if he was smoking them next to me. It was as if, like, the box of cigars was sitting next to me. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not like under the couch, is it? The cats didn't get into it? No, 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 no. Because the box, the box was just a box. We would store, like, one of the boxes I store, like, D&D &D dice and pewter pieces and shit in. Which reminds me, with the with the internet, maybe a picture of that box. Because I want to, because I don't, like, I want to. Want one of them cigars?
dump off these passengers. Yeah, it's just weird. Pay two million dollars again. Nice. I'm already. I've made four million dollars in the past hour I've been playing this game. It's not hard to make money in the game. Just gonna be willing to go out it's and do hard. it. But yeah, that shit, it, that really, really, really makes me want to buy a cigar. An Imperial Cutter only costs 209 I don't know how much it is, but Federal mine was 209 million. Beluga it costs 84. What a fucking yeah. jump. It's pretty much good as if you want to do like a like long distance travel for like passengers. Yeah. But I mean, I can kind of do that with my cutter. <laughs> Cuz it has like I think it has Like it only comes with two six and two four passenger cabins, and the cutter comes with uh, a seven and a five. So it's two sixes and two fours with seven, a five, and a two. So it has it has fewer optional internals, but it obviously has. It has seven hard points. As opposed to five. Eight utility mounts. And it has a level... Actually, it has a level eight. It's got an eight, a seven, and a five. And the blue Beluga's only got a six. A five and a six. Yeah, a six and a six. Technically, I think the Type 9 Heavy would be better, because it's got a 7, a 7, a 6, and a 6. So I think the Type 9 Heavy would be better than the Beluga Liner. I think the Beluga Liner just has more FTL range. Mm-hmm. But, like, the Type 9 Heavy, I'm sure you could outfit... You definitely haul a lot more shit. Oh yeah, wow. These ships come with the Super Cruise Assist built in when you buy them now. Oh, uh, gay. But they don't come with the docking computer. <laughs> I would prefer that. It comes with a they come with planetary approach suite and the Super Cruise Assist. That's interesting. Well, like, if space travel was a thing, I'd feel, at the very, very, very least, planetary approach suite should be, like, standard. Well, here's the thing. I have a planetary approach suite, a super cruise assist, and a standard docking computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you have an autopilot. I have all three. Yeah, you have I don't an know autopilot. why I have a pl I, I don't know. I don't know why I have a planetary approach suite. Do you actually never need that? Do you like you hat? Oh, I was about to say you actually. Like I never need go to that. like. I, was say I never take jobs that require me to land on planets because they take too long. It's so much faster just to go starship to starship. <laughs> True, but like once you get the hang of it, you can you can just drop in and land. And I need to slow down drinking that drink, dude. I'm getting the jitters. Holy shit. Ugh. Need to counteract it with a depressant. God, I have issues. Fucking holy shit! All right, so you can respect this point of view. I mean, I know you—you you probably have your own nuances or gray areas on the subject, but at least from a religious aspect.
I know that most sex sect of Catholicism it's, it's just not possible so like uh there's this show called Veep and uh I think I, I may have already had this conversation with you um and the chick uh Veda from My Girl ends up uh having an abortion and <laughs> And at the end of the episode, right before credits roll, she, like, lays on her belly, grabs the pillow, looks down. Uh, you know how you, like, when you're, like, laying on your belly and you're grabbing a pillow to kind of support your head? And you kind of, like, cross your arms underneath the pillow? So she does that, and she just looks across, and she goes, <sighs> I'm a good person. <laughs> it's just a little, like, self-affirmation. And I'm like, if you have to do that, how do you not feel like this is wrong? Yeah, true. I think everybody should have their own human agency and individualism, but I have to. I also want people to understand that, like, once you watch a video of an infant fighting the tube off, you're just like, holy shit. Like, you may not remember from back then, but you still have a fight or flight response. And I listen to Michael Knowles, and he's the only real reference I have. And, you know, like he says a lot, he's like, you just, like, it's not possible to be a Catholic and be okay with that. He's like, you have all these politicians, they're like, oh, yeah, I'm pro-life, and da-da-da-da-da, and, or I'm pro-choice, and da-da-da-da-da, you know, I'm a practicing Catholic, and I'm like, er? <laughs> I don't know what the Eucharist is, but apparently, you know, our president was denied that because of his stances on abortion. Excuse me. Should I just look it up? Or? I mean, you can. It'll probably give you a better explanation than I can. Um, cause it's, uh, how do I... See, when I thought the Eucharist, I thought he was denied, like general services like you know the cracker and wine mm -hmm. the body and blood uh, of Christ excuse me uh yeah if you want me to look it church, up and it's fine I'm just I'm I'm, I'm I'm proximity alarm that's not great uh, I'm trying to not crash <laughs> And you're like, and explain religious ideals with you. I'm sorry. Yeah, fairly busy space station. Oh. There we go. <coughs> that point in the right direction. Oh. I have an illegal passenger. Whoops! Should Did you should have read it? that. Should have read that. No, not yet. Should have read that fine print. Ooh, oh, Pharisees and our uh, uh, yeah. God damn it! I'm gonna fuck that up. Pharisees and following winds, my friend. There we go. Yeah, I just the jobs. I'm on Mercury right now.
landing gear retracted. Yeah, my muscle memory is coming back. Um, I keep so smelling it. In what context was he denied the Eucharist, by the way? Uh, because like when he went to church. Yeah, he said he was denied the Eucharist in Virginia. Or, yeah, okay, yeah, that means Virginia. that he wasn't allowed to. Uh, like basically, when he went to church, they didn't allow him communion. Okay. Like he didn't get he didn't get the bread, wine, and he didn't get the part. To, like he didn't get to go up and like say the prayer. Okay. That's what I thought it was. Was this while he was president or before he was president? Before. It's while he was senator. Uh. Or congressman or whatever the fuck he was. He was a senator. Yeah, I think he was Senator Biden before he was vice president. Dude, you have no idea how people are catching whiffs of his cigars. It's tripping me out, man. <laughs> Have you heard that driver's license song by Olivia Rodrigo? I don't even know who she is. So no. She's been like a Disney Channel person for a while. And she's on the show like the high school musical, the musical series. Oh god. Oh, she, they made a she TV just came out show with this, out of like, that? Yeah. She just she career sense time bonus. God, Full benefit so information, fuck. blah blah blah. It's because of that that those movies that flash mobs exist. I swear to God. How do you like? How come it's not letting me scroll down? You ever been around a oh, flash mob before? Three Within years, like, fifteen minutes. Doo -doo 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 -doo, just fucking, you know, shopping, and then all of a sudden everybody breaks out dancing. You're like, oh fucking shoot me! I'm just trying to go to GameStop. We're gonna see if I get blown up when I try to enter this station. <laughs> <laughs> you have fun with that, good sir. Uh, I don't pick up illegal Check passengers. The... I wasn't even paying a fucking oh, attention. I, I was just like, these two people are going to the same destination. Let me pick up both of them. Oh, I'll kick people. <laughs> if, if I accidentally pick somebody up and I realize that they're they're illegal, I'm like, uh, oh, you got a G GTFO, brother. Ah, uh, yes, Bree Farmer. Passengers may be wanted in multiple systems. I mean, the uh, insurance on this ship is only like a million dollars, so. I think that's why I was flying it around, because it's cheap buy. <laughs> Yeah, the reason why I wanted a federal Corvette is so I could be a bandit. Yeah, I remember you telling me you wanted to fuck people up. Yeah. And I was like, I can help you with that, because I could be like your cargo. Yeah. Just follow you around, you jump in, fuck some shit up, and I'll have like, I'll have like a fighter and some, um... Like, I'll have some weapons and shit, but like... Hell, I could even I'll launch be like, you as my fighter. I don't think you can do that. Yes. Not with my cutter. Oh, yeah, not with your cutter. But I can add, like, you could, like, join it as one of my crew members, and you could pilot one of my ships. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, I could do that, yeah. Yeah. Technically, you could do that, too. I have a... Yeah. My, uh, my cutter has a hangar. Yeah. I think it would be cool to be pirates for a little bit, piss off some players, like, actually get a chance to be a toxic player for once. Like, I mean, I'm always playing with morals and, you know, virtue and shit like that, but occasionally you just want to be the bad guy. <laughs> you want to shoot your friend in the back of the head or whatever. I was like, I have, like, I think my cutter actually has, like, a collection limit and, like, a small cargo bay on it already. You know.
<laughs> I think the last time I was using it, I think I was blowing up pirates. Here we go. I don't think I was scanned. Don't they do it right when you enter in the doorway? No, yeah. If you don't hear a scan, right. you're good. Sometimes they will scan I'm you, good. sometimes they won't. It's the cops that are patrolling the outside. I thought there was a chance it could scan you when you entered the yes. thing, too. Holman Hawkins, you were a great guy. Give me my million dollars. We're under chapter house rings and secondary contract for you keep telling me that and I don't know what that means. It had like a courier delivery service too. Did I think those are engine market, engine market. Oh, those are both at the other one. Anybody else want to go to the Sinjin market? It's crazy that you actually think about it. Uh, you read some of these things and like, you know, after... You read these stories and then you realize that, uh, you know, more civil wars happened, you know, even in just colony stations and all of that. And like, fuck, human beings were, I mean, yeah, the impending Thargoid threat, but we're always our own worst enemies. I just read, I just read the birthright wars. It's a tourist beacon on Mercury. Mm. There's so, so much more to this shit. fucking game, man. It's ridiculous. You thought an eight hour video was long for fucking Destiny. <coughs> So, so I made it to the first station. Yeah. Now I have to go to the other station and hope that one doesn't blow me up. Because that was just the first stop. I was transporting two passengers. So I had to write down a list of like every physical ailment I have so I could tell my uh, doctor tomorrow. Oh, my left eye's bad, and my right eye's bad, and my left hand bad. And no, right I got my bad. eyes fixed, or, you know, checked out today. Oh, It was you? crazy, because, like, I'm getting my, I'm, like, looking at the eye line, and he's like, you know, number one or number two, you know, one of that thing. And, like, I'm looking at the, the line, and it's, like, focusing, and then it's going fuzzy. Focusing, and then going fuzzy. I'm like, oh, dude, my eye's, like, shuddering like a camera. Like, what the fuck's going on? Like, I've never noticed it. I guess my eye does that all the time, and that was like the first, like one of the rare times where I actually had to like force my eye to do it. 
and I had to pay mm. attention. I was also pretty stoned. I don't think I should have gotten stoned before I went in for an eye exam. Yeah, probably not. The guy told me, he's like, you have really healthy eyes. It's just that, you know, they're mis that's what his stigmatism is. Your eye, your eye is misshapen. You know? And I have an astigmatism in both eyes. He's like, yeah, your eyes are healthy. It's just that, you know, this, this, and this. And he's like, and since, you know, you're past a developmental stage, like your eyes or your brain is always compensated for the fact of being blurry. And he's like, so it doesn't know what it lo what the world looks like to be clear. He's like, I could give you the best glasses and the most expensive glasses in the whole world, and you know, it's not gonna fix your eyes. He's like, it'll. He's like, your eyesight will get better after wearing glasses. He's like, but you know, your eyesight is so you know on the lower end of bad. Uh, you don't even qualify for like LASIK or anything like that. I'm like, oh, all right. Oh wow, so your eyesight's like too good for LASIK, but just bad enough that you sort of need glasses? Yeah. <laughs> you're like and right it, in the you're like yeah. in the fuck you zone. Yeah. I'm in the Goldilocks fuck you zone. Yeah. That's like I actually need to go get my eyes checked because Oh I don't think I told you. Like a couple of days ago, my dad had to go to the hospital because oh. he was having he was having like this pressure behind his like eyes and temples because mm -hmm. he gets like sinus headaches a lot. Um, and he ended up going blind in one eye, permanently or temporarily. Uh, we don't know because he went into the hospital and apparently he has something called retinitis. Okay. I don't know if you know what that is. No, I've never heard of it. Oh shit! What's going on? I wasn't fucking. This is a player, and oh shit! Did you just get like incepted or whatever? Yes. Try to get that FDL up. You fighting him or are you running? Oh fuck! What do you think I'm doing? Running like a bitch. Let me know when he kills you. What kind of cargo do I have? Oh, I have <laughs> holy shit! No wonder he's trying to interdict me. How'd you get away? Yeah. Gives a fuckload of shit on you. I have a lot of titanium and stuff on me. Dude, go sell that stuff. Oh shit, interdicted again. He's just chasing your ass down. Jump to Super Cruise. Nah, I got this. Yeah, but that's sometimes, it, sometimes it's better to let sometimes it's better to let him catch you and then or like submit to the thing so that way FTL comes back faster. Yeah. And get caught. Like if he has a really good interdiction drive. He's got a shit interdiction drive. Nah, you're fine then. Uh I'm just gonna go park so I can figure out where the fuck I need to go. Cause I'm trying to figure out which station in Seoul is uh, a high technology, so I know where to park, so I can try and look at the shipyard and tell you how much the Federal Corvette's gonna cost. Can't you check that in the system map? I uh, yeah. Every time I try to, I get interdicted, so I have to park so I can. And just find the closest one to you, pop into it, and then just hang out That's for a I'm minute. That's what I'm doing. 
I don't know if that's a new feature or if that's my old hotkey still there. If you hold A, uh, is there an up on the D-pad signal that says set speed to 75%? No, it's cycle next subsystem. Okay. Select highest threat, cycle next target, cycle next hostile target. Yeah, so I got that set to set 75%, so whenever I get within 15 seconds, or 15M, or you know what I mean, 15 seconds of uh, where I'm trying to go, I just set it to 75%, and I'll automatically, like, cruise into where I need to go. So why don't I'll, you just get, why don't you just get an auto super cruise? <laughs> I probably already have one, and I'm just not using it. <laughs> I mean, I definitely didn't have one. It wasn't a thing last time I played. Tajin Market. Hundred and seventy eight thousand pilot delivering some book data. trade and pilot's handbook smuggling. <laughs> Fucking wanted asshole only giving me half a million. Five and a half million dollars. One hundred million dollars. I was like, oh that's it. I'm sorry. One billion dollars. <laughs> Remember that? Oh, now that's cool. Go to your, uh, if you go to your uh, solar system map, and then you go to artery. You go to what? Okay, so go to your system map. System map? And there's a little, hang on, it's loading up for me, I'll tell you. And then if you look over to the left, where it says map, and there's a tab that says map, and there's a tab that says artery, O-R-R-E-R-Y. It actually shows uh -huh. the system and the elliptical orbits around the star. Nice. It's me methane rich, only and oxygen rich. Pretty four, cool. Four billion people in this system. There's a fuckload of fleet carriers in this place. back to copper go to copper station I did tell Eddie to go uh, that he needs to think about going to the doctor he said this like dry cough for like a while now like, bro. And he like, might have pneumonia. It's like, you need to go to the doctor? But that could be like a respiratory infection. That could be like pneumonia. There's a lot of things that could be. None of them good. Uh-uh.
And I need to get a mining ship set up. So many of these missions are like mine stuff. Source and return, source and return. Lying there with no missions. One thing this game does well, it's like 4 o'clock, and I feel like I've been playing this game for like 3 minutes. Yeah, I know. I was like, man, why do I feel so tired? And I'm like, oh, it is just 4 o'clock. Looks like a python. It still doesn't see. What doesn't it say? Whether it's a, uh... Whether it's a, a high-tech or not. Now, would that be in the galaxy map, not the system map? I've tried looking both ways, and I can't seem to figure it out again. Hmm. Is there a way to pay off your bounty, by the way? There is, right? Yeah. It's in your I... starport services. I really need to do that for my one ship, because I think it's like a $5,000 bounty, because like I, I rammed another ship or something like that at one point. Was something dumb? Yeah, that's usually how it goes. I think the Abraham Lincoln is, uh... Is good. Either that or it's like the Lincoln Cow or whatever the fuck. The Lincoln Watch it actually cow. be here. I'm at this, so... It's, it's a... It's like everybody, like, tried to claim their own Star Wars here and shit. Mmm. Like, there's the oh, M4 Speaking of, like, doctor's appointment. I actually, I have to make, uh, I have like my yearly wellness check I gotta go do. It's me a discount on my insurance. Yeah. There's also new ships to be bought and sold. Oh, really? There's new ships? Yeah, there's new ships. I mean, I own like nine, which isn't a lot, but it feels like a lot. <laughs> and there's like achievements got, like, for owning all those ships, ships too. Like owning multiple ships at the same time, and so I just don't sell any of my ships. Dude, there's 225 achievements in this game. There was definitely not that many. Can't you scan... Isn't there a way to, like, scan stuff, too? Because, like, you can yeah. sell system data, right? Yeah. So, like, every time you go into a system, you're supposed to, like, scan it or something? Ah, yeah, you gotta man. have the scanners even... on your shit. I have that. I've got the, um... Like, there's ones that, like, scan the... the whole system. Sometimes they're, like, near or far, depending on how good the scanners are. Like, you warp in, you scan the system, 
And sometimes, like, they want you, like, if you want more money, you gotta, like, roll up to each planet and, like, scan the planet. Yep. And, yeah. Especially, like, if you roll, if you go out into the galaxy and you find Yeah, like, undiscovered that, shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's when it's worth a lot. Yeah. And then you get to name shit and fucking. Or no, you don't get to name it, but you get to put your name on it. Oh, dude, I gotta buy one ship. And I'll get an achievement. Own oh, 10 different ships simultaneously. <laughs> buy, like, another s Sidewinder or some shit. I was gonna buy an Imperial Eagle. <laughs> I already own an eagle, so if we go buy an Imperial Eagle. Just in case it has to be, uh... Just in case it has to be, uh... Different ships. So I have like 63 I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like... 120 million or something. No, I think... If it's a... You talk about yeah, my Federal Corvette. It's going to be like 200 million. Because if yours was more expensive most, than mine. Yeah. Mine was 200 million. Okay. Yours is going to be more than that. If yours is more expensive than mine, it's going to be over 200 million. Like it's the ship that everybody wants to if you want to kick ass, if you want to be an ass kick, kicker in the game. Which I, which is why I went M Imperial because I was like it is it's the most versatile. Yeah. It can do pretty much everything. But imagine if you and I rolled up in some place and they're like, oh, shit, we're getting, like, there's, like, you know, people are going to shit their bricks. There's, there's a Federation, there's a, there's a Federation cruiser and there's a fucking Federal Corvette. Imperial, yeah, an Imperial Cutter and a Federal Corvette. Yeah. You just fucking run, poop yourself. There's really not too many options. I've been rolled up especially, on somebody Especially in a if we both have... Like hangar bays, yeah. You pop out a hangar bay. That's four ships they're fighting now. And then we can try and go like, eventually, like we can actually go like show up to like fleet battles and shit like that. Yeah, like pick a side. Mm -hmm. Do you all? Because like, there's like, there's things like that where it's like, there's those fleet battles where it's just like NPCs. Mm hmm. But usually the big like, fleet battles, usually they they try to get those to where they'll draw. Unfortunately, uh, like all the players, they they play uh, the arena. Yeah, the um, I was gonna say the uh, there's the uh, fuck. I remember I, the one time I responded to a distress signal, and I really wish that you had been there, because it was like wave style enemies where like one ship came in and I fought them, and then like two ships came in and I fought them, and then like three ships came in. And then like five ships came in, and I was like, "All right, I got, I got fucking, I gotta get the fuck out of here." Like I failed the mission to like defend the ship. <laughs> I was oh, like, wow. "I need more people." Yeah, it was like it was it was the last wave. Like the boss guy showed up, but it was like, I was like, ah, uh, like I was doing well. Like I was taking out these ships, but like I was hurting by the time. But like after I made my way through those first four ships, I was like, I'm at like a third health. So I'm I was like thinking about getting out of fucking bullets for the old man. Oh yeah, yeah. on the PC. Yeah. Does he I like Warband? Like nah, he's never played it. I would I would show him Warband and have him play that, and then if he likes it, then I get him Bannerlord. Because uh, you have it for free essentially, so it's like a free test drive. And be like, hey, check out you know Warband, and then if he likes it, then I'd get him Bannerlord. Well, he doesn't like console games for one. Uh, for uh, two, I mean, it's on it's on PC for free. I you'd have to check. It's on Game Pass Ultimate. So what you need to do is check to see if it's Windows compatible, and then if it is, it's probably on Game Pass for PC. Okay. That would be the question, though, is if it's like if if it goes like that way. That's what's up. That'd be cool. Because I mean, he no, likes Civ. Well check just in case. He, he likes Civ. He, and he like liked the, uh, 
Does she like like third person, first person combat stuff like that though? I mean, maybe if it is single player status, where he's just fighting like pitched battles, like how it does. You know, not really the multiplayer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he could be okay with it. He's been playing a I lot of uh, really Star evil. Trek. I got the achievement. <laughs> Classic yeah. collection. On ten different ships simultaneously. I still think that's a really cool name of a gun. Extraordinary rendition. Yeah, dude, it's a submachine gun. Brand new, I think it's a new submachine gun, too, because I've never seen it before. I think it's like they added it with this season. Uh, let's go to outfitting. Oh, it looks so cool. It looks so much cooler than a regular eagle. Why can't I? Oh, here we go. Hard points. Pulse laser. Pulse laser. Oh, they don't have level 2 multi cannons here? You sons of bitches. Listen, pulse lasers are great, but beam lasers. Beam lasers are better, right? I'm not like fuck. I'm misremembering that. I don't know. You'd have to watch like internet breakdown. I I, I don't know these things.